time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Let's go to the 49ers defense. And again, the two prominent people we're going to hear from today, defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryans, who, golly, it, count your blessings. Every time you hear the name D'Amico Ryans, you just understand we're lucky to have him for another year. This is it. This is the last year. We said the same thing after Robert Sala. We're like, yeah, this is the last year. Um, we thought we would be able to keep Mike McDaniel a little longer. We did not. Um, you know, he took off, but D'Amico's going next year. So, and the reason why I say that is the 49ers defense is primed, is primed to just be absolutely incredible. It's going to be a great defense. Now, where were they last year? Let's put this into perspective a little bit. You know, depending on the metrics you're looking at, the, the probably the one that coaches and deep analytics people would say is the number one kind of criteria for a defense is DVOA, okay? Basically shows how good your defense is against average defenses in the NFL. 49ers were fifth. They were fifth by considerable margin, too. Um, you know, they got a 14.9, so a positive 14.9. Uh, Tampa Bay had the best defense with a positive 26.7. And so just to kind of put you into perspective, 49ers were seventh, Arizona was sixth, Rams were fifth, and then um, Seattle was 21st. And so it kind of makes sense why the NFC West is the NFC West. You've got the five, six, seven. Um, now, which off which defenses got better? Uh, you know, you look at Cardinals lost Chandler Jones. They, they lost their best player on defense. Rams, uh, they lost about five starters. They got to keep their studs. They lost five starters on defense. Um, that's going to be interesting to overcome. Now, were any of those major key players? Uh, not really. Not really. But if you look at the 49ers game, the guy that got the interception, he's gone. Um, the guy that was stuffing the run, you know, Sebastian Day, he's gone. Eric Weddle re-retired. You know, the guy that made two of the most key plays on that third and fourth down at midfield, he's gone. So, yeah, they've lost guys. They've lost guys. There's no doubt. But, you know, did they replace them? We'll have to see. Now, let's talk about what the 49ers do have. And I think the captains of the defense, they have them at every single level. Nick Bosa, for sure. We're going to talk about him. Fred Warner, for sure. And then at the secondary. Jimmy freaking Ward it used to be referred to as Mr. Glass because he got injured, I think, three out of the first three seasons. A lot of people were using the term bust, all those things. Hell no. Listen to what D'Amico Ryan says needs to happen for Jimmy Ward to be, have an all-pro season, and I completely agree with this. I think Jimmy is an all-pro player. Sometimes those accolades, they can't come to everybody. Jimmy just has to remain the course and just go play football. Jimmy is one of the best football players I've ever been around. Just his instincts, his feel. You know, playing that safety position, he is a really great football player. So sometimes the accolades, they don't show up. He just has to keep doing what he's doing, right? And he'll, he'll, he's continuing to get better. And Huff out there with him, they're both, you know, I, I feel like both of those guys are working well together. And, you know, Jimmy will, you know, one, if it's meant for him to be all pro, he just keep playing ball. He doesn't have to worry about that status. That'll come. You just play ball, have fun, do what you're supposed to do, and those accolades and things will come. It's your boy Frank Gore. I'm listening to a 49er rush. Niners all day. 